we are headed to pick up the trailer I put a new uh, put a new spark oh I put new spark plugs in I told you guys that but one of the cylinders still had an issue so I put a coil on it now it's running a lot better still has a little mist to it but it seems to clear out at certain throttle points so I'm driving it 20 minutes to get the trailer we're gonna see if it makes it the 20 minutes and back so about 40 minutes round trip so hopefully it does <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to but I pray it does we just got her some fuel gonna hit the road and see what happens here y'all pray for me we're ripping down the back road going about doing about 60 mile an hour she's running pretty decent we need to get us some good tunes on here radio works but yeah she runs pretty good man we're doing a good mile an hour here right around 60 she's rolling pretty decent so hopefully we make it the whole way and back that would be amazing um pretty excited about it finally moving and running definitely runs a lot better than the last part two so i am pretty pumped about it but i'm doing 70 down the back road she's not running hot not really skipping she got some fresh fuel in her good old pressure so i think we're gonna be all right pray for me fingers crossed but she's running pretty decent man I think she just needs to run a little bit so we're still doing about 60 to 60 mile an hour down the back road just cruising man just cruising seeing what she's got seeing how she's gonna stack out so yeah let's go if the cruise control works on set Oh, she works. We got cruise, baby. Got cruise. We're rolling. We're rolling down the back road. OBS. But yeah, we rolling, boy. This report is sponsored by BP. Rolling into good old Chester. Temps and everything still look good. No issue so far. We're about to stop at a stoplight. If she don't cut off, I think we're in a lot better shape than we were. So this will tell us a lot here. Wow. Still running. That's big. So basically, ever since I got this thing, uh, if you stop, it would basically cut off. And doing the plugs and stuff like that, it definitely helps. So I think we are in a lot better shape than we were. Um, and I'm literally about a mile from picking up the trailer. So I would say. We are at the halfway point of success here. Halfway. Thank you. 
All right, so literally after I shot the last scene there, um, it started running. Well, the check engine light came on and it started running a little bit rougher. So he's going to get his um, he's going to get his code reader, and I'm going to check it out real quick and see what the codes are, so that we can better diagnose it and figure out what it's doing. Because this is the first time it's really ran. So yeah, let's see what it's doing but got the trailer hooked up we made it here the whole way it didn't break down so i'm excited about that so we checked the codes and we got misfire on cylinder two and cylinder four which means that it's definitely coil packs because we have a new coil on three but we don't have a new one on two or four or one so i'm going to replace that whole side and if this baby runs like brand new, I might cry. But we have the trailer on. We are headed back to Rock Hill. We're gonna see if we can make it back. And uh, yeah, that'd be awesome if we do. So we're gonna hit the road. guys one last look before I put it in storage well not really in storage but right here where I store my some of my other vehicles but the trailers here trucks here still running we got a sweet winch in here uh, I've got to finish wiring that up but yeah the winch he said the winch was new so that's cool uh, he's got me these little ramps um, brand new tires on the trailer yeah I'm pretty pumped about this thing so pretty pumped about the truck making it the whole way too um, as you can hear she does have a miss still but I put it on his code reader he's got a really nice one figured out what that was so um, I'm going to get some more coal packs and just change all the ones on the right side or the, the passenger side of the engine. All the ones on the left side, I could tell that they're fairly new, so I don't know why they changed one side and not the other. The passenger side has mixed match ones, so yeah, whatever. But see you guys later. <clears throat> usually I would be kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, usually I'd be a little bit upset <clears throat> that I should probably let these windows open. So usually I'd be a little upset that, you know, my, that something like this is happening, but the best part about it is actually figuring out what the issue is, right? <clears throat> so I pride myself on doing like most things myself, and this is kind of one of those things. Uh, I bought this trailer, uh, I paid cash for it. Of course, it's an old trailer, it needs a little bit of work, but new tires and stuff like that and that's all that matters to me <clears throat> I bought this truck paid cash for it of course old truck needs a little bit of work but I love it so <clears throat> yeah it would be really easy for me to be kind of upset about the fact that I have to do more to it but uh, the cool thing about it is I own it um, you know instead of spending a thousand dollars a month on a car payment I'd rather spend five hundred dollars a month fixing this thing. It's a lot better when you own it. Save the other five hundred and put it back for another truck, just like this one. I gotta have two trucks in a year. Still not have a car payment, so that's kind of the <laughs> that's kind of the thing with starting this business. You know, the least amount of my money that I can have going out every single month and the more amount of money that I can have coming in is pure profit, that's the goal in any business. So I think that's the best way to do this. And you know, hey, if it doesn't work, who cares? I still own it, <laughs> you know? So that's how I look at it. And I appreciate you guys for checking it out, subscribing and all that good stuff. Um, 
you know, be owners, man. Own something. You know, it's cool to have the nicest thing ever, but it's also cool to own what you have um, to, to be that person. You know, own your stuff. Don't have a bank that can control you. You control you. I mean, of course you gotta pay taxes, but everybody's gotta do that. Outside of that, just own yourself, man. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you subscribe. Um, channel's growing pretty awesome. And I'm enjoying every minute of it. <clears throat> um, share this with a friend. Anybody you know that's out here getting it like, like I am, like you are, share this with them. Let's get to it. You know, I want more people like me around me. I want go-getters watching these videos. As you can see, I cover a lot of content, a lot of different things. So I want people like me that do a lot of different things in their life to follow me. So I hope you guys have a great night. Appreciate the subscribes and the follows and all that good stuff on all my pages and stuff. Be safe until the next one.